Hey everybody, I'm here in beautiful Deering Oaks Park in Portland, Maine, and uh, I thought it would be cool to um, introduce you to some of the trees that I've met here. And so if you wanted to come get to know them too, you'd be able to do that. And um, perhaps if you didn't want to come here, you could still apply some of this knowledge into um, an area closer to you and get to make you know, all kinds of new friends. So um, let's see what we find. All right, here we go. Okay, so uh, this is Deering Oaks Park in Portland, right? And it's called Deering Oaks, partly because there's lots of oak trees here. So this, this is an oak tree, um, and this is a red oak tree, which is the most common species of oak tree in the state of Maine. And there's two ways that I uh, have come to recognize it. One is a pretty common, you can see it's got little reddish marks in the cracks in the bark. So that redness, you can know uh, it's a red oak. And then there's another way, if I look on the ground here, um, if you look, red oak, the leaves, they are about this shape. There's always some kind of variation, but they're this shape. And you can see they have pointy tips, okay? Now, one of the other cool things about Deering Oaks here is let's see if I can find a white oak tree. Ah, uh, yes, here is a white oak tree, all right? The bark is a little different. I wouldn't say it's white on the inside, but it's just not red, okay? And one of the cool things about determining if it's a red oak or a white oak you can see the differences in the leaves okay so white oak is going to have round here um, this is the white oak this is the red oak the white oak is going to have round tips on the leaves where the red oak has pointy tips okay so that's and it's even they're even a little pointy here's a really good example see the curved curved rounded tips on the white oak and then the pointy tips on the red oak leaves. So they're pretty easy to distinguish from each other because they're the same shape, but one is pointy and one is curved. So um, Portland and the Portland area is kind of the last area, um, the most Southern area that you'll see white oak in the state of Maine. And other than that, after you get north of Portland, it gets much harder to find. You might see it, but um, it just, I guess, gets a little too cold for them up there. Okay, here I found uh, what I uh, believe is a, a paper birch. And uh, I, I thought it was worthwhile spending a little time with, with this friend because for, for a couple reasons. One, um, as I walk around the park here, one thing that I think is cool is that uh, there's a lot of trees I don't really know what they are. And so, there's a lot of room for learning new things. And also I would love to hear in, you know, any comments, replies to this video, um, if you find a tree that in Deering Oaks Park that I do not identify, or maybe I don't know what it is and you can figure it out, I'd love to hear what you find. So you could teach me a little bit. Um, but this, um, and another cool thing about, well, maybe not so cool, but another thing to think about with this tree is it's, it's tough to tell as I get closer to the bark, it looks almost like this tree is not, uh, it's like I see some scratches and stuff. Um, maybe not the, had the easiest life living here in Portland. Maybe people try to peel these little paper parts off. They're pretty easy to peel off if you want, but that could hurt the tree. So when we see trees, um, even though we can peel off the bark, um, bark's one of the things to try to leave alone on a tree um, when you can. Um, so if you have, if you're trying to use birch bark to start a fire, try to find it on the ground. Um, and so um, this is a white birch, uh, also known as a paper birch. And one reason that I know that that's what it is, aside from the way the bark looks, it has these, uh, what they call egg-shaped leaves. and if you uh paper birch and gray birch look very similar so if you're not sure which one it is 
um, based on the bark, look at the leaves and a white birch is gonna have these kind of egg-shaped leaves where a gray birch, the leaves are gonna be much pointier on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a paper birch, although sometimes it's very tough to tell. All right, in my last video, I showed you a white pine, which is the state tree of Maine, and a white pine is a lovely, beautiful tree, right? Um, so here I found um, another member of the pine family, which is a red pine. And you can tell like the red, uh, like the red oak, it's got this reddish tint on the bark, okay? Um, and it also has these big scales, these huge scales is what you call this kind of bark. Um, and another way you can uh, identify the red pine is because red pine has needles that come in bunches of two. And look how long they are, they're very long. And uh, here's here's a, and if you try to touch them, they, they don't hurt you, but they're a little bit pokey. Whereas a white pine is gonna be much softer. So if you have two long needles like this, and it's pokey, um, pokey needles and not soft, and the red bark, you found a red pine. Okay, here I found an interesting uh, specimen, which I believe, not 100% sure, but I believe is a mountain paper birch. And some of the distinguishing characteristics of a mountain paper birch are, uh, I just got a mosquito bite here. Even in Portland, you get mosquito bites. Okay, so I believe I have found a mountain paper birch. I'm not 110% sure, but I'm pretty confident. And so if you look closely, this bark isn't peeling off like uh, birch bark does frequently, but that's because I think this is a kind of an older um, section of the trunk and so they do develop um, more hard, hard pieces of bark when they get older. But if I look up in the branches, you can look closely and you can see that it is, um, the bark is peeling off like paper and strips like paper. So that is one way to tell that it's a birch tree. And another way that you can tell is the color, like the kind of the golden um, amber color that is distinct of a mountain paper birch. And then the final thing is that like the uh, regular paper birch or the white birch, um, another way of saying that, it does have the same kind of shaped leaves, but these have much bigger like teeth along the edges there. So like a saw almost. So more, a more jagged edge and with the amber color um, is uh, and the egg shaped leaves are, are ways to identify a mountain paper birch. Okay, so this is not a tree. Um, well, I mean, we are looking at a tree, but if you look in the middle, you can see a chickadee there um, flying around. Oh, there he goes. Is he, can I file, follow him? Uh, oh yeah, chickadees are the state bird of Maine. Uh, and this is a specific kind of chickadee. It's very common, very easily identifiable, called the black capped chickadee. And there he goes. So uh, totally, uh, I'm totally comfortable admitting that I am more familiar with some trees than others. Uh, and some trees, I can just look at the bark. I don't even need to look at the leaves and I know exactly what kind of tree it is. Some trees, I need to see the leaves to, to really be able to know with full confidence what it is. And this is the case with this red maple, the most common species of maple tree in Maine. So one way you can tell ooh, that it's a red maple, um, is if you look at the leaves, they look like this is the common maple leaf shape. All maple leaves are roughly this shape, um, but it has jagged edges. Um, another way to remember it is if you remember red maple, remember ved maple, like a V. So if you see in the corners here, um, they come to a sharp V shape, an angle, and they have a jagged teeth on the outside. So that's one way to identify a red maple tree. Okay, here's one of my favorite trees in the park and just a, generally one of my favorite trees all around. Although don't, don't, don't tell anybody that you're my favorite. Okay, so um, it, it's called the tamarack tree. Okay, now if you remember from the last video, we talked about coniferous trees versus deciduous trees and coniferous trees make cones. Okay, um, some people also call them softwood trees because the wood is softer, okay? Um, and, but 
sometimes people also call them evergreens but this is a tricky tricky thing the tamarack tree loses its needles in the winter time like deciduous trees which is the other kind of tree that has um, broad flat um, leaves like oak and maple and, 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 and many other types of trees with broad leaves uh, without needles so this tamarack tree loses its needles in the winter time which is kind of cool uh, so uh, it's a coniferous tree uh, called the tamarack tree and in some places they call it a hackmatack tree and one way I can identify it is if you look at the branches they, they look super um, they look kind of fuzzy like they grow needles all up and down the twigs and they just have these big uh, if you look farther out it just looks like every twig is, is just fuzzy and they have the needles grow in bunches like this um, and they, they're short and, the, and they're kind of soft uh, so it's a tamarack tree pretty cool okay I talked about a red maple earlier uh, and I'm so glad to now have found a sugar maple so when you have maple syrup like real maple syrup this is the kind of tree that it comes from uh, so and one way to identify identify it like maple trees like I said I know the leaves the bark a little iffy on but one way to identify the leaves of a sugar maple is if you see the uh, in between the lobes of the tree um, you know it has three big lobes uh, on the tree one way to identify them is they look like the spaces in between your fingers you go like this so that curved kind of u sort of shape uh, that soft soft curve that's also in between the lobes right right there so that that way that shape that's how you tell it's a sugar maple and this is the same leaf that is on the canadian flag so one thing uh is that uh right next to deering oaks park kind of straight behind me if i keep following this path you get to uh, king middle school and i know a couple of years ago they uh, did a survey of the trees in portland maine so there is a chance small as it may be who knows that um, somebody watching this video is one of those students uh, at, who went to king middle school and did a survey of the trees in the city of portland maine which would include this park and then would therefore know really well about all the trees here and maybe if you want to um, if you want to comment on this video or um, if you're one of those people and this video might help you be in, feel encouraged and be encouraged to come to the park and introduce your human friends to some of your tree friends so you know because there's no such thing as too many friends <laughs>